yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, 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 uh. Turn up, turn up, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was the day that you realized chasing his dreams is way more important than chasing women. Guys, you're gonna win in the end. Just don't mess your life up between the ages of 18 and 29. Don't screw it up. Don't marry somebody. Don't impregnate someone out of wedlock. Focus on your things. And by the time you hit 30, you're gonna have the momentum you need. Now, I'm not saying not mess around in between all that. Mess around, but be careful. Sounds cliche, everyone's saying it, but focus on yourself. It'll be way more worth it when you hit 30. You might get to 30, you might start dating, you might think, actually, this is sh just like Logan Paul. I just do not have the energy for dates. Dates are dates are a thing. You are spending so much time, energy, and potentially money yeah. on someone that might suck. Like, mm -hmm. that's the risk for dates with me. I'm unwilling to potentially spend time with someone who I do not get along with. Like, mm -hmm. imagine, imagine, like, the end of, like, a two-hour dinner where you're just, like, so you might get to the point where you're successful in your career and you haven't even got time for dates. Two hours will be a long time for you. And the more valuable you become, the more women are going to want to date you. You might come to realize actually it's all overrated. I'd say just don't date for the sake of it. If you've got a really good chemistry of a girl and you're having fun with her, then f it, go out for a few drinks. I'm jealous of guys that like go out and like find yeah. bitches and just fuck because I'm like, yeah. oh, God, how do they do I that? I wish I could do that. I want to be like that. I've been it. Okay. You don't. Fuck. Oh, you don't want to be like this that. I was waiting for someone to say that, and I'm glad he did. Yeah, you don't want to be that. It ain't fulfilling. Having fun with girls is good. When you're young, smash, have a good time. But don't make it your mission. Y'all know women really believe that their degrees are primary determinants in a man's sexual attraction to them, despite the fact that no man ever looked at a woman and said, damn, I wonder what kind of degree she got. But since they believe that their degrees are that significant, we should remove and replace all lascivious content and replace it with degrees. So take OF and turn it into only degrees, for example. Let women go on there, flaunt their degrees, and see how much subscribers they accumulate, how much revenue they actually generate. Yeah, it ain't about the degree, it's about the mind, it's about the brand. You can have a degree and still be dumb as f oh, I'm <laughs> telling you, bro, and you gotta stand out. You gotta be different, bro. She got 20 niggas telling her she's cute. Tell that she Okay, watch her respond. Oh, man. <laughs> she, you no, it sounds what crazy. Stupid. Yeah, he's I, right. That was an bro. argument. I was like, oh, now nah, I switch it up. <laughs> Boom. Now it's, oh, he's funny. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Now you went, no. who's, next, who's next to you? It's shorty. You were just going to look at her. Look at us. What's the fuck you saying? What you saying? Yo, stop. Yo, yo, stop. Please man. stop. God, stop. Damn. I'm saying, though, it works. I it never, I never in my life no, walked into a girl and works, said, bro. you're ugly. <laughs> she and she was intrigued. You can't do that off rip, though, bro. No, no, it's not like that. Now, obviously, don't be a but I know what he means, and I've said something similar to you guys before. If you got a connection with a girl, you can tell she likes you, you like her. You're better off calling her ugly and teasing and joking with her instead of calling her beautiful every five seconds. More or less, just never pander and put them on a pedestal. When I lose my virginity, if these fucks keep playing hard to get, when I smash, I'm gonna play hard to contact. Shit. It's the man, the myth, the legend, Joshua Henderson. Don't forget his name. My name, Joshua Henderson. All right, bro. All right, bro. We gonna Never holler. forget that. May uh -huh. my name be the last thing you ever hear. Yo. Uh -huh. yeah. That'll work, bro. All right, bro. All right, you All right. take it easy now, broski. Hey. Just don't forget you. about it. Ever. Good Just always remember, if you shoot your shot at a bad broad and she carry you, always remember this what she look like under that weed. Never forget that. You look like my exhibit, bruh. <laughs> Sensational. God damn it, how the f*** out here, man? You better be like I like y'all. Okay, but, mm, but can we go inside, bro? It's too f***ing hot. Crisscross applesauce shit, you got me looking goofy as hell. So these are for your protection, to keep you safe and stuff. This is not finna protect me. Get him off. You're not finna tell me I'm a f rock finna protect me from my arts. You feel what I'm saying? To me, that skit and that guy funny as because that's just so accurate. I think that's how a lot of guys want to react with these astrology girls. But a lot of the time, they just put up with it because they want to smash. <laughs> Yeah. Do you take your trash out? Do oh, I'm a woman. I don't. Are you crazy? What? Patriarchy. I am the. I am the and, only and girl. Women mean, and women say like this, like, oh, well, I want a man to do all this, and I'm gonna hold the house down. My God, Pierre, you've been to my house. Yeah. How clean is my house? Immaculate. I, I, like, I'm the, I am a I've never, I'm okay, 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 go ahead, I've never even seen trash in this man's trash can. Hey. Okay, okay. I, I am a hey, oh, and this, look, this is what cooking. This is with cleaning. Can I don't I need ask? that. I'm a beast. Okay, so I mean, we hear the same answers every single time. I'm gonna keep the house clean. I'm gonna have food on the table when you get back. Like a man can't do that himself. Do they just think we're all man babies? We can't look after ourselves, can't clean our houses or cook for ourselves. Those things are nice, but we don't need that. If you only wanted that, you get a maid. That's cheaper than marriage. Dress today and have on a tights okay. and a halter top. And bubbling. a man honks at me. It's my fault. 
it's the fault of both. If you dressed in a way, you don't believe that a woman can dress in a way that can lure a man to him? Let me make this example. Please. There are some men that drive a, a very fashionable car and look a certain way. And sometimes that look attracts certain women. There are certain looks that a woman can have on that make her appear that attracts certain men. That's just a fact. You go buy a car because you're attracted to the look, even if you don't know the engine, how to work. Dress how you want, drive the car you want, but understand it comes with some shit and it attracts certain types of people. Pretending it isn't is you living in a bubble and not accepting reality. Giving away for a woman is so unfulfilling. Going to get other is not even cheating on you. It's like, she, your woman can go and go 20 guys. It's unfulfilling. The difference is I'm chasing I'm trying to get that real estate. She's giving real estate away. So if she sees some other dude with a better dick, this shit out with, sweetie. Go ahead, get a tiger. Then one day she's going to be sitting there and become a girl. <laughs> What's this all about? Then she got to come see me, and I'll tell you what it's all about. You're goofy. I tell her she's goofy. <laughs> You're insane, man. I'm not trying to justify cheating. I think cheating is stupid. It's up either way. What you saying is true. Cheating for women is more unfulfilling. Because an average woman can go out to a bar and get laid whenever she wants. Whereas an average man's got to work hard for it. He's got to chase. He's got to play the game. And he's got to charm a woman. A lot of the time when things are too easy, they're just not fulfilling. Let me see. Let me go on her back. What's she say? At the end of the day, I need somebody who care about me and love me. Anybody who playing games is somebody who I can't respect. At the end of the day, I'm a woman and I need to be treated like one. Oh my God. What? Look at what you. Hold on. What do you say? He talking about some yes, queen. You're a queen. Don't let anybody tell you anything else. She talking about thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> he wants you so bad. Bro, she's not going to let you in. What else she talking about? Man, those quotes always start about the end of the day. If she sneaked this in you on Twitter or Instagram, that means she still cares for you, she still wants you, and he knows that. That's why he's there eating his crisps. I'm bothered. Stay unbothered. Let the Sims DM her and try and give her sympathy. That shit never works. This is real, there's only one place she belongs. She belongs to the streets.